everybody, it's Brooke, and since it's 2018, I thought I would start a uh, new sort of video series to do at the beginning of every year, and it's called Finish It or Frog It. So I'm going to go through all of my works in progress, I have them all here in a pile, and I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to finish it, and by finish it I mean work this year to finish it this year. <laughs> Hopefully I'll go into 2018 with only, go into 2019 with only new whips from 2018, not from 2017's whips, or I'm going to, you know, let it go and frog it and use the yarn for something else. All right, so first up, some easy ones that I just went over in recording my podcast. Um, the uh, Baldrick sweater, needless to say, I'm going to finish that. I'm knitting that earnestly. That one should be done pretty quickly. Um, and then my hue shift... And then my Hue Shift Afghan, which I just started, of course, I also am going to finish. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm liking it a lot better than another blanket that I was working on, which is going to come up in just a second. Alright, this is like Christmas all over again. I don't know what I'm going to get. <laughs> okay, this one is the Oster by Michelle Wang that I'm knitting with my sister. Uh, for my grandfather and we, we did not make it for Christmas but we decided to do Father's Day and so this is one of the projects that I want to go ahead and and get cranked out before I start um, picking back up other things or casting on new things and so I finished the sleeve working on the body and I definitely am going to finish this one this year this is a make a long story short blanket that I started and just have been, you know, picking up from time to time. And I actually, I think I'm going to frog this one. And the reason why is that I am working on this blanket and another blanket. And I actually think I would like to make hexi puffs instead. I think that would be more fulfilling. And I know that is a long-term project. <laughs> um, and definitely will be third in line as far as the other two blankets. But I did just see a finished one on Instagram, and it was just absolutely beautiful. And the the geometric aesthetic of it is incredibly pleasing. I don't know how easy it is to knit a hexagon sort of in the way that a mitered square blanket would be knit. But if I do see something like that, then maybe I'll do that instead. But right now I'm thinking I'm going to do hexi puffs, which is what I originally started doing with my you know, minis and leftovers. So I'm going to frog it <laughs> back into its original parts. I think I will leave the yarn knot. Oh, uh, no, that doesn't make any sense. I guess there's no need to leave the yarn knotted. Uh, it's kind of sad to undo knitting, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely going to frog this one. All right, up next, my anniversary cardigan. I love this cardigan. I'm still in love with this cardigan. <laughs> definitely going to finish it. Definitely not going to frog it. Let's just hope that I finish this one before my next birthday. <laughs> this one's another project that's kind of been on hold because I've had other obligations going on, but I can't probably will pick this one back up first to, to knit on, and it does move quickly when, when I actually work on it. Um, all right, so this is a... <laughs> This is the Creatrix Mystery Knit Along, and this is as far as I ever got on it. Shortly after I started this one, I picked up the Starting Point Mystery Knit Along, which I did actually finish, but took me three months to finish. And so um, this has kind of been sitting in the state for a good half of a year. And I, you know, go into moods where I really want to knit some lace, but I just have been so in the mood for sweaters, I don't really have time to make more shawls. So I have like four or five skeins of this beautiful navy blue fingering weight yarn and I think I could put uh, put it to a much better use uh, than just sitting. So I'm going to frog it and then I'll hopefully be able to pair it with some other yarns. All right, this is my garlic, which I was knitting as part of the holiday sweater, as part of the um, the holiday sweater cow that I hosted with Melissa of Honeybee Knits and I got this far on the first half of it. I do love this yarn. I do I do really like the pattern and I think that I will uh, I will finish it. 
um, kind of probably just kind of slowly whenever I need something that's pretty straightforward to knit as opposed to um, knitting something more complex. All right, this is another gift and this one is for my mom. This is the Everyday Shawl by Jenny F, which I just got started before I got pulled into other things. And this is uh, being knit out of my uh, fully spun yarn in the basic colorway on the two-ply superwash merino base. And so, of course, I'm going to finish this for my mom. I've got quite a few skeins of yarn over there that I'm going to make into gifts for her. Um, and uh, apart from gifts that I've already committed to knitting, another thing that I'm going to do in 2018 is no more gifts. If you want me to knit you something, I'll knit you something in 2019. But in 2018, once I'm done with what I've committed to, I'm knitting for myself. <laughs> and that's the, that's the intention that I came into the holiday season of 2018 with, but, um, you know, best of 2017 with, but, you know, best laid plans. Okay, up next, this guy has been sitting so lonely and sad for a, quite a bit of time, but I am definitely going to finish this. This one is, is a pattern that I put together on my own. It's called Big Ass Fair Isle Blanket. It's just a, a project on Ravelry, and um, it goes back and forth between the arrow and tree motif, and I dyed 14 colors and arranged them in stripes, and so I am definitely going to finish this. Uh, this blanket is going to be epic when it's done, <laughs> and it should hopefully be, be also be bed-sized when it's done. And so I'm definitely going to um, to keep this one around. Definitely not frogging it. Uh, I enjoy color work so much. And when I actually have the opportunity to sit down and focus on the blanket, I'm definitely going to be able to get it done. The question is whether it'll be done this year, but I'm definitely going to try to make that happen. I think these are socks. Oh, yeah. So these are, uh, <laughs> these are my... Uh, these are some Hermione's Everyday Socks that I was knitting out of a sock, plank, sock blank that I dyed as an experiment. And so I definitely am going to keep these around. Um, I put them down because I have been focusing on other things which are pretty straightforward knitting. But you know, socks will eventually get done and I enjoy wearing knitted socks a lot. So definitely going to finish these and hopefully have a chance to knit a few more pairs during the next year. Okay. This is the uh, Money Honey Turban by Amy Apple of Poison Girl Knits. And actually, this one's already off the needles because it is going to get frogged. I uh, thought I wanted a, a pink... Uh, so, Melissa, this is yarn by um, Melissa of Honey Bee Knits. And I thought I wanted a pink sparkly turban. But I decided that instead... I wanted to pair the pink with uh, like a navy blue and do a brioche instead. So since I just uh, freed up some navy blue yarn for myself, I definitely will be able to get that hat going and hopefully do some, um, some mitts too. Some color work mitts would be so fun with the sparkly yarn. I do absolutely love and live for the colors, but I, I wanted to make sure to make something that I could wear, um, wear often. So yeah, so that's definitely a frog, and I'm I'm surprised that it's not already already marches at, and I was also surprised it's still living in a project bag, but you know that's how these things go. So I honestly am surprised that there aren't more uh, works in progress, but that's really it, guys. Um, so we're not going to um, do any more new cast-ons apart from a couple of shop samples that I need to cast on and a gift that I've committed to knit that also needs to be cast on. And otherwise, I'm going to try to focus on these and get these cranked out um, in the early part of the year so that I can have room to knit all the other things <laughs> that I would like to knit. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, my Finish Your Frog It for 2018. And if you guys would like to finish it or frog it, definitely comment down below what things you decided to try to keep pushing through and what, what projects you decided to, to put the yarn to another use. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more craft and lifestyle from, videos from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.